something that's always quite funny is when airliners tip backwards while boarding, you know, during the boarding process. Kind of like a permanent tail strike. Check this out. It mostly happens on cargo planes. You know, seeing images like this kind of got me down the rabbit hole of weight and balance. Balancing out your plane so this doesn't happen. You know, again, with cargo planes like this, especially the boarding and deboarding process, the loading and unloading process has to be quite smartly planned. I mean, you definitely don't want to find yourself in the news with passenger plane to backwards after blundering baggage handlers unloaded the cargo from the front first, which, you know, messes up the whole weight and balance thing. Of course, for a plane, it is very important to stay within the limits of weight and balance, and especially when it comes to flying. And so I thought, well, we've never really done a challenge like this on the Twisted Zero One channel, where we completely mess up the weight and balance. You know, maybe make it a very fat pilot or something, yes. And so isn't it great that we have the Phoenix A320 here, which, you know, here on the iPad ha actually has a very nice weight and balance calculator. This is the chart that is always used for flight planning. I've, of course, learned how to use it as well. So hold on right now. Let me let me get out the weight and balance tab here. Here we can change, for example, fuel, of course, and that, of course, switches around this little weight and balance mass thing indicator. Check this out. We can get more and more into the left thing. And here we are already outside of operational limits. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, what we call overweight now. So this is uh, a bit critical here. We have definitely left the chart now with loading in a bit of too much fuel, which can happen as well. But you know what I like here is how you can individually change the payload of, for example, the pilots, which is quite interesting. I mean, for example, we can make it a very, very, very heavy captain. Okay, so there's a there's an eye in there. <laughs> Lol. Yes. Now the pallet weighs 169,000 pounds. I don't even know how many kilos that is. But just because of this pilot, we're already exceeding the maximum takeoff limit by literally the amount that is allowed. So we're pretty much twice as heavy as we can be. Everybody, this is a proper captain. The biggest bird. <clears throat> Maybe now it's time to take off anyway. This is a very random challenge, but I just wanted to happen. Like, what if we had a very fat pilot? Also, of course, in relay for pilots to pass the medical class one, uh, they have to be really fit. And we can see how the tire is kind of now physically combining with the runway. Isn't that amazing? I am giving full power, but it's not really getting us anywhere. We might need a longer runway later down the line. Yes, very front heavy plane, which is not really working out. Uh, okay, we're starting to get towards the taxi way speeds. Three knots. All right, you know what? Maybe the pilot needs to lose a bit of weight here. <laughs> this is a bit too ridiculous. All right, maybe come on. Let's maybe do like 69,000 pounds. There we go. That's, that's a very convenient number, number, isn't it? Now, we're not even that too heavy. We're just too heavy on the front. You can definitely tell that in the nose wheel steering. This thing doesn't steer at all. We probably need a longer runway, right? I, I don't know. Yes. It was about time we go back to the desert. Welcome to Edwards Air Force Base, the home airport of Swiss Air One. <sighs> Stupid testing videos. What, what, what am I doing here at this point? Okay, so once again, this is the deal. Instead of 170 pounds, we're looking at like 70,000 pounds. That is not physically possible, but it's a fight simulator. Anyway, come on. I wonder what the BMI of that would be. Meanwhile, we're doing the takeoff run. It's gonna take a while. We can maybe search that up. Your height, uh, five foot eight. Your weight, 170,000. Your BMI. Whatever that means. I think that's great. So, everybody, we're looking at a plane that's about to take off. I really am wondering. I mean, we are able to gain some speed. But I'm wondering about the lift capability. Okay, I'm pulling. We're at 150 knots, and it's not going up. It just doesn't want to. So everybody, in order to not die, let me go ahead and just change back to uh, no captain at all, just so that we can maybe have the pilot get a bit fatter throughout the flight. You know, a shift of weights. And that's actually something that happens as well, especially on cargo planes. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you guys will have heard of the National Airlines Flight 102, which was a cargo 747 that crashed just outside of Bagram. What happened was, the the cargo shifted throughout flight. It wasn't properly secured. And what happened was it shifted all the way to the back and that made the plane very tail heavy. And so it completely stalled out, which was incredibly shocking. So this is why proper securement of cargo, of course, is always important. You know, I don't really ever do fatal crashes on the channel because I'm trying to stay funny. 
Mostly doesn't work anyway. So, come on. Let's maybe try this now. We've got 500 pounds, 5,000 pounds. Ah, we can tell something, but it still flies quite well. What's interesting is that the Mr. Tablet very much is complaining. Hold on, 5,000 pounds? Here we go. <laughs> Literally, the pilot is so fat that the indicator is outside of the chart. Let me make it a bit more heavy because this plane flies quite well. I wouldn't notice. So, come on. Maybe make it a bit fatter. 50,000 pounds. Now, this adding of the zero has been a fatal error because we are now going down downhill very much. Uh, even though it's flying quite well, we've pretty much got zero vertical control. I can't really go up or down. Uh, but it's still flying. It is still alive. And that's the point. So, the pilot needs a bit more food. Or maybe for inclusion purposes, also get the first officer to be a bit more heavy than he is right now. How about we look at like a uh, good old 10,000 pounds? Yes, yeah, something like that. Plane is still Still climbing. We're still actually maintaining a proper speed. I mean, we're not going to read any Mach 1 in this thing, but geez, I've got no, like, it's literally like there's a control lock. Our elevators is literally doing nothing to the flight here. This plane is now only flying on faith, which is great. So maybe let's make it a bit more heavy because this is, this is not even that bad. Honestly, we're looking at like 60,000 pounds in the front. Uh, three million thousand. Okay, now this is definitely going to tip over now. Okay. Yeah, it's just literally pushing the plane down physically. It's like there's literally a hand that pushed the plane down, which is... It's completely crashed now. That's great. Very nice. So maybe let's try what we saw in the beginning. A very tail-heavy plane. Yes, there's a fat man entering the back. So uh, what is what is this? OC? Something like that. I'll just make it heavier here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is something that happened in the loading. Maybe, come on, maybe not make it that crazy. Maybe, maybe like 100,000 pounds. I think that should... It doesn't work. How about like 70,000 pounds? Come on, just lift up. Oh, man. Anyway, come on. Let's not cry. Let's not cry around. Let's go full power and see if this works. Will we even move? That's the question. We're not moving. There you go. 20,000 pounds, which is very much over the edge already. And you can see that too. This plane is, there we go. I can immediately tail strike at it. <laughs> and we're only at 100 knots. But this actually, you know, this actually kind of looks cool. Maybe this is great for buttering the plane, honestly. Da -da -da -da, 150 knots. Oh yeah. Okay. That actually, the plane took off on its own. Yeah, I don't even have to use the joystick here because just physically the plane is pushed you know, down at the end. Like, that already very much sets the angle of attack here. You know, this is actually not bad. Plane is climbing on its own, and we're actually even gaining a bit of speed. So why don't we let the fat people sit in the back? <laughs> Stupid video. Anyway, come on, let me get a bit heavier here. 200,000 pounds, that is more than the plane can handle in its entirety. And it's in the back, the last nine rows here. Okay, there you go. That is just what happened to the 747, actually. That's crazy. Oh, wow. It's really struggling. Check out how the sounds as well. We've completely lost it. That is almost vertical. That was disastrous. Now, with a little bit of less weight, this plane is still struggling here. Yes, I've loaded in around uh, 10, <laughs> 100,000 pounds in the back. And you can tell that this plane is struggling. I was going to do a landing. But boom, it's just take this plane down. Who would have thought this could happen? All right, time to try out something crazy here. I'm not quite sure whether we can change the weight and balance here. Oh, we can. Payload, pilot. We've got everybody here. Okay, come on, maybe have a very, very fat pilot. We're, we're looking at the Antonov. This thing can actually handle like easily a 200,000 pound pilot here. Boom, there you go, full power. Ha! <laughs> Moving like it just doesn't care. That is ridiculous. Like, again, 200,000 pounds. That is literally a whole entire way too heavy A320 loaded in to the pilot seat. And it just moves like it doesn't mind. I mean, you know, this is a cargo plane after all. It's supposed to handle such, you know, imbalances, but still, that is crazy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. At 160 knots, the nose is actually starting to come up, uh, but only barely. This plane does fly a bit worse than it normally would. Ah, uh, there we go. That was very much close, but we are gaining speed, and we are gaining a bit of altitude. I wouldn't be flying around with this thing on a long haul flight, but there we go. Very inclusive plane. Let me try the opposite as well. Rear cargo main deck. Make it extremely heavy million millions of pounds okay there we go so we are very very heavy very very heavy and this is going to an end we are literally being pushed down this is great this is a great experiment you know i was just asking myself what did we learn today pretty much nothing i mean planes act like they are expected to so yeah guys thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys tomorrow as always good night great
Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Deram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knott's Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.